Hello everybody, my name is Zach, aka The Weather Gamer, bringing you another episode of Cards Against Humanity. As always, we don't condone what is said or played, it's just a stupid game. All that, I do have Jake, Lord Ixie, I have AV, I have God has, a, God has a Wife, and Shy Guy is in call, but he can't get into the game for some reason, so Shy Guy is here, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started, call. so yeah, so like I said, Shy's in call, but he can't talk, so, oh, I'm the cards are to start, so, oi, show us blank, guy, I swear to God, if you play it, you win, you know what I'm talking about. It's... Yep. <laughs> Sadly, I don't have this. Possibly because I'm a dude, but... Oi, show us illegal immigrants, okay? Show us bees, or show us anything that comes out of Prince Philip's mouth. Well, if the bees get a boo mushroom, they're technically boobies, so... Hmm. <laughs> That's close enough. Woo! First point. Close enough. I could get salty, but boobies, duh. Okay, hey, next it's week one of on the Discovery Channel, one man must survive in the depths of the Amazon with only blank and his wits. Bro, with only his, uh, I think his large cock. <laughs> I, I was. I could play, but I'm just going to play it for me. I don't have my computer. Ooh. With only pretending to be black and his wits. With only ribs so good they can transcend race and class and his wits. Um. With only leprosy and his wits. I love how the one card is well, like, I... yeah, race, and the second one is like, transcend race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's how this game goes. I, I am Thank hungry you. right now. <laughs> I mean, it is lunchtime for you. It's almost lunchtime for me. Wait, it's lunchtime for. Oh, I it's that. just about noon. 1 for... p.m. Yeah. Yeah, it's 1 p.m. for I, like... noon for me. I just had dinner. Oh, my memory of last night is pretty hazy. I remember blank, and that's pretty much it. Well, I was designated driver. Otherwise, this would have actually been me right now. Uh oh. I'm in trouble. Uh -oh. I'm in trouble. What guy? Oh trouble? my god! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I told you I'm in trouble. 911 man. Yeah, I know how to pander to God. I've learned. <laughs> I've learned how to pander to God. Yeah. And this Just is why record, I am not a fan of 911. Um, Hi, I'm Steve. My name is I live in Malibu. I'm into blank, and I love to have a good time. So, um, this is why I have to put that warning in front of every episode, saying, hey, we don't condone this. It's 911. Hmm. Hmm. I'm into quinoa. Hmm. Yum. Yes, I don't even know what that is, so... <laughs> it's a Some super sort of health food. food. Oh, yeah, it, that's boring. It goes. I don't like it. It's okay. But it's ironic. Hmm. Your mom's ironic. Ah, I got him. These two are complete opposites. How am I supposed to know what to pick? <laughs> <laughs> pick the one I that's mean, not a complete opposite. I, I mean, is coming deep inside my best bro really sex though? Because if you say no homo, it wasn't gay sex, so it wasn't sex, so... You're so, right. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> Damn it! I was the not having sex one. <laughs> you you played yourself, guy. In Australia, nah. blank is twice as big and twice as deadly. Nah, I'm not gonna play myself. Where's Blin oh, when we need man. him, Shy? Oh yeah. Or Jed, he would work too. Those are the only Jed? two us, two Australians no, I know. Oh. No 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 no. Bionic suit. Nah, no, this is not Jed. Wait, Swaley, no, I was talking about Bionic Soup. In Australia, pizza is morning pizza is evening pizza, and so the fur is twice as big and twice as deadly. In deadly Australia, oh, shit. sexual tension is twice as big and twice as <laughs> deadly. 
In Australia, natural selection is twice as big and twice as deadly. I mean, everything in Australia tries to kill you, so that yeah, makes fair them, enough. That makes logical sense. Sexual tension is really funny, though. Too. Do I go the logic route or do I go the funny route? Or you go with pizza? No. <laughs> I mean, I do want pizza, but I'm yeah. gonna go. Okay. Good job. Guess who's played pizza? You. <laughs> the guy who said, "Hey, go with pizza." <laughs> uh, we Good do guy. not shake it with our left hands in this country. That is yeah. what. That is the hand we use for. I am left-handed, actually. I am not. High left-handed. I'm God. Oh Hi, God. God. I'm Jake. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hand we use for fiery poos, forced sterilization, or cheeky bum sex. <laughs> How do you? Uh, Why would you only use one hand for that? <laughs> Stop. Okay. Stop giving me all the points. I know I had it. Looks a... like a game, guys. Stop I saying all the good cards. I'm yeah. sorry, my hand was loaded. Why did the chicken Why cross the road? Did the chicken cross the fucking road? To prove if somebody says 9-11 now, I'm gonna fucking cry. I don't have that <laughs> card again. Sad. Oh, oh my oh, man. daddy yeah. fighting all the time. Uh, well, well, I mean, if you fought, you should cross the road to walk away. <laughs> okay, I'm not even gonna... Nope, not, not Yoshi, Cloaca, no, fuck you. Stop! <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't Stop know, my hand is cards. literally full of good cards. <laughs> Call the law offices of Goldstein and Goldstein, because no one should have to tolerate blank in the workbook. I'm sorry, I'm gonna win this one too if I'm not careful. Alright, so I'll pick the worst card, got it. Mm. <laughs> because no one should have to tolerate queefing in the workplace. No one should have to tolerate sucking oh each other's God. penises for hours on end in the workplace. You're pretending that's no bad thing. No one should no. have to tolerate fiery poop in the workplace. Hey, Damien. Hello. Hey, you joined hey, in. Perfect. What is up? We're just playing Cards Against Humanity. Ooh. The link the should be in up. general chat. Okay. You about hey, I got Ooh. a point. So I didn't win. Got him. AV knew which card was mine. No, I didn't. Oh. All I knew is that I did not want hot shits in the workplace. In the 1950s, psychologists prescribed blank as a cure for homosexuality. But yeah, Damien, I linked the uh, game if you want to play too. Yeah. Uh, Is there a password? Tornado. Tornado. Okay. Uh, Did we just say the password on air? I mean, it's in a video, so it doesn't really matter. And that. Uh, 1950s. Yes. Yeah, so. Psychiatrist prescribed being addicted to children as a cure for cheerful blowjob robots. Sex with Patrick Wait. Stewart. Sex with Patrick I Stewart mean, would not be a cure. Yeah. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I don't think you'd be gay. Do you wouldn't be homosexual if you're robosexual? I mean, if it's Jake is trying to get me to pick his card, and I actually was just about to pick it, anyways. <laughs> if it's a dude robot, uh, that, that that was me who said that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I just uh, found it funny. I would have picked that. As king, how will I keep the peasants in line? Easy. Boobs, right? <laughs> yes, the answer is always boobs. That's a great thing. Boobs always make things work. Boobs, are... boobs make certain things work, yeah. Boobs make the world go round. <laughs> uh, there you dick go, pics. 50 milligrams of Zoloft daily. <laughs> Just plug him. Uh, a bunch of idiots playing a card game instead of interacting with you normally. <laughs> okay, who got real and decided to take a shot at us? <laughs> Discharging a firearm in a residential area. <laughs> yeah, those last two were basically the same. It's just shooting at us. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. But drugging them, though. Like... <laughs> <laughs> drugging them. Oh. Yikes. Yikes. Why? Yikes. Yonkers. Big yonkies. Line, right? Next from J.K. Rowling. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Tits. Uh, black. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm, boy. I already regret my decision. Did you choose this? No. My mistakes were made. Let's just go with that. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Lots of mistakes are made in the chamber of yeah. alcohol poisoning. The chamber of Uranus. The chamber of itchy pussy. Oh god, no. The chamber of a sober Irishman who doesn't care for potatoes. See, Slick isn't here. So I know. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's not funny. Damn it. Shit. I thought you was Why did call. you say damn it? <laughs> because he because doesn't want to wait quickly. He needs content. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're only at 11 minutes. I'll just run another one. It's fine. Like, yeah. normally these games okay. take us like half an hour. This is because you're so good. I had a Yeah, you had a really good hand that I, time. I did. <gasps> Oh my God. In his farewell address, George God, Washington famously warned Americans about the dangers of Trump. I mean, what? Damn. You're hitting a... Uh, and you're not going to believe what I played. You're hitting I an already, emotional snare right there. I already played yeah. that song. I already put it in. Jake just instantly got half the internet to hate me. <laughs> Dude. Uh, Dude, I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. <laughs> give, it to, give it to God. Give it to God. Just, Jake, just give it to God. Give he it. he <laughs> got it. He got it. He, he deserves it. He deserves it. Yep. I wasted I Stalin. And I played it before you said anything. <laughs> damn it, God. Oh my god. And the Academy oh, Award for Blank goes to Blank. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright guys, I gotta go eat lunch. Alright, see you later, Chad. If y'all still playing, by the time I get back, I might join again, but probably if we not. can figure out how to get you in here. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, later. Oh, my baby's crying. Oh, Madeline is sad that you're going. Yeah, Madeline's not happy, but... Shy left. It doesn't sound that way. And the Academy Award for Sexual Being goes to watching a hot person eat. The Academy Award for Spontaneous a Spontaneous Spontaneous Conga Line goes to ISIS. <laughs> Would be fucking okay. hilarious though. The Academy Award for a five liter goon bag goes to all of his all of his blood. Oh. The fuck? The Academy Award for an unwanted pregnancy oh my goes God. to my boyfriend's stupid penis. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damien wins that one. Yeah. yeah the rest of those were just like tossaways, and Damien actually had low key the perfect. <laughs> but the spontaneous what never fails, though. Like, why is it not a party? Yeet. <laughs> I haven't actually read my card so far, because I always had one that I was like, yeah. Ecstasy never fails to liven up a party. Not wrong. <laughs> New Miles Slave Boys never fails to liven up a party. <laughs> Casually suggesting a threesome never fails to liven up the party. And the black is death. I mean, I, I, I feel think like that wouldn't liven like the up opposite. the party. Maybe the opposite. <laughs> I'm actually kind of guilty that. For I'm between the first and the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> Just pick whichever one you want to vote. Yes! No! Yay. You should have done ecstasy. I was gonna say, I love <laughs> irony. Yes. When I am a billionaire, I shall erect a 50 foot statue to commemorate blank. Hmm. Let me go get I don't my daughter real quick. I'll be right back. So I don't know how to plan this thing. 
No worries, Jake. When I am a billionaire, I shall erect a 50-foot statue to commemorate poverty. How to be a dick. To commemorate <laughs> a turd. <laughs> to commemorate <laughs> Gail from HR. Because fuck that bitch. To commemorate an oversized lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, Madeline. Uh, Say hi. Hi. Hello. No. Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. No, hey, Damien, who won the soccer match? By the way, I did. You was it? You was it? Good. How much? America. Duo. When I am Prime Duo. Minister so of the United Kingdom, I will create the Ministry of What? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Deck, I know you want it. That sounded oddly sexual there, Doc. <laughs> uh, when I am Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, I will create the Ministry of Wizard Music, the Ministry of Pretty Pretty Princess Dress Up Board Game, the Ministry oh, of fortunate. Handcuffing a Wizard to a Radiator and Dousing him in Kerosene, the Ministry of <laughs> Finger Up the Butt. <laughs> I oh see my two... god, I totally should have played a game <laughs> There are two, like, Harry Potter-ish things that I could go with here. Yeah, I, I, know you <laughs> I know what you're trying to get me to pick, and I'm not going to fall for that. No! <laughs> I know Pretty you want it. Dress up for game. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers do not go into that. Yeah. Alright. I well, what do you have to say for yourself, Casey? This is the third time you've been sent to the principal's office for. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Damien's losing it already. <laughs> this won't be good. <laughs> no, it's not that funny. But... He said while laughing. Yeah, I just have a lot of fun, man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you sent to the principal's office for oh some really fucked up shit. Being <laughs> dead in a uh, Subsparrow's bathroom. <laughs> and not being found for still a few hours. <laughs> or doing it in... Okay. Some really fucked up shit or some really fucked up shit? <laughs> Do you want to dash between the fucked up or not? <laughs> That's a very good question. <laughs> the only difference is one is hyphenated and Why one is isn't. Why are like that? I don't know. Two different sets. One is from the red set and one is from the INTL set. Oh. Yeah, like Why? Oh. You couldn't pick the other one? That one was mine! Yeah. <laughs> I like my like. What can I say? Bright minds think alike. You're not going to believe this, but I'm you from the future. You've got to stop blank. <laughs> okay, I'm so sad doing it of the butt is gone already. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that would be so perfect right now. Oh, this is beautiful, how this one fits in. Yeah, that's what she said. I mean, what? <laughs> You've got to stop a stepping turtle bike. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You've got to stop heteronormativity. Yeah, fuck you. You've got to stop a big black dick. You've got to stop waiting till the man. <laughs> You'll never find the love, just get it when you can. Get laid, man. Get laid. Damn it! <laughs> I thought my snapping turtle might have won that one. Oh, it had a big chance, but just like, get laid, man. <laughs> Armani suit, $1,000. Dinner for two at this swanky restaurant, um, $300. You look on her face, um, when you surprise her with blank. Right. <laughs> Oh boy. Someone's laughing. <laughs> this better be good. The look on her face when you surprise her with the best tuxedo in the galaxy. Priceless. The look on her face when you surprise her with a milk that comes out of a person. Priceless. <laughs> the look on her face when you surprise. 
The look on her face when you surprise her with mouth herpes. Alright, close. The look on her face when you surprise her with the haunting stare of an Iraqi child. Price oh my god. god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright, I feel like I know what God wants me to pick just because he whispered like halfway into me type talking. <laughs> but I will make sure not to pick that one. <laughs> Kidding. Um. I, I, I like this one. I like this one. Yes! Okay, which one do you think I was? Okay, I, I feel like you just said the second one because that's how you are. No, I was, I was. the second one. You, yeah. What, <laughs> what's the most problematic? My hand is not good. Like, I had a goat hand to start this recording session, and now it's, like, utter trash. I mean, these are pretty problematic. What's the most problematic? Pedophiles, running out of stamina, pooping in a leotard and hoping no one notices, homework. But, like... I mean, is Luke is really that problematic, though? Yeah, like, I mean, it does have Luke... a lot of problems written on it. <laughs> Dang it, Amy. Where are you going with that? Okay, I'm banning you. <laughs> Do it. Is funny. But looking in the world right now, I'm gonna have to pick the one most realistic. Good job you didn't take homework. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, for pe I mean, no for Peter Phelps, but still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fun tip. When your man asks you to go down on him, try surprising him with a blank instead. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, Damien. What are you doing? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah! yeah fair no. enough. <laughs> Honestly, that's fair enough. <laughs> I mean, yeah. After eight years in the White House, how is Obama finally letting loose? Oh god. <laughs> I got a new card. <laughs> I need to stop laughing! This way the fuck Okay. <laughs> Damien, that's the Life point of this. Condition. Okay, let me just throw away this word. Pretending to be one of the guys, what? but actually being the spider god. Okay. What? <laughs> 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 Make three white men. Becoming a blueberry? <laughs> Just going to Willy Wonka. I know who. I I have a comment for that third one. If when this is over. Right. <laughs> yes. Uh, make believe I stories for autistic do. white men. You mean he's telling bedtime stories to draw? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this video is gonna get like seven comments, and comments and five of them are gonna be like some guy being. How can you say all those bad things about Trump? Ah, further, Trump be good, further. Oh, that's right, I can think. How was Thanks. Oh, you know why that, that also works the other way around. Wow. It works both ways. That's right, I killed Americanization. How you ask? Being marginalized. What? I say killed. LeBron James? By catching a live salmon. <laughs> what? <laughs> How? <laughs> I like that one. How? <laughs> like, I'm um, just imagining like a salmon flying through the air. And LeBron James would be like, got it, and defeat none, oh. winches down in it and just dies. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I killed the goddess. 
Okay, boost. Whatever yes. it is. What? What? Put it? what? Five. To read the bread. Or I killed a gay sorcerer who turned everyone gay. <laughs> How are you asking? Pouring the vagina for me. I mean, wouldn't that be what made the sorcerer? Too. I was gonna say, wouldn't that be what made the sorcerer gay? Yeah, like. It, it works the other way too. Hey, baby, come back to my place and I'll show you. Blank. <laughs> Someone's laughing, oh god. <laughs> Damien, please. Where? Let us try at least. No, it's not that funny, but like. I missed one ever, I was in the lead. Yeah, last time you said I'm just gonna throw something away and you won. <laughs> yeah! <that's true. laughs> I'm throwing something away. Yeah, same. Watch him win. And I'll show you a phantasmagoria of anal delight, okay? And I'll show you a teenage boy gunning for a hand job. <laughs> Hey, come back to my place and I'll show you Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Just like two Putin in your backyard. Hello, my name is Vladimir Putin. Guys, I don't need him coming after me too. I've already got Trump pissed. I don't need Putin coming after me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna one day like just in vanish a week, and Zach just vanishes and we're like, you. what happened? And we get like <laughs> a message and we get like, hey, you know mess with Putin. Yeah. Here, have some vodka. What ended my last relationship? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> I like mine. <laughs> what ended my last relationship? Calculating every mannerism so as not to suggest homosexuality. What in my last Damn. relationship? Too much cocaine. <laughs> what end in my last Got relationship? Authentic Mexican cuisine. Is that what? I, I don't know. Yeah. What ended what my, what end in my last relationship? Hot people. Uh, wow. That's kind of sad. A but Mexican cocaine. cuisine. Come on. I mean, how does a burrito end a relationship? You'll be yeah. on the toilet for hours. Yeah. <laughs> Your persistence is admirable, my dear prince, but you cannot win my heart with blank alone. How are you guys trying to win my heart? <laughs> your, your fair weather gamer princess here, apparently. Oh god, I just put that Kate, in the cannon. I'm gonna get it. somebody calling me that now. I will murder you. <laughs> From now on, it's like the fair weather game of princess. No, god damn it, why did I say that? <laughs> Some fan art of that? No, Jake, do not <laughs> encourage people. Somebody DM Luca. No. <laughs> it would be worth it. No matter the cost. Your persistence is admirable, but my prince, my dear prince, but you cannot win my heart with shiny objects alone. A bleached asshole alone. Farting a huge shit out of <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Running out of semen alone. Uh, shiny objects actually distracts me so 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 quickly. But then wouldn't you be able to? <laughs> I mean, diamonds are a girl best girl's best friend, and since you're the fair weather game of princess now, blank is a slippery slope that leads to blank. <laughs> I like mine. Ooh, ooh, I'm just ooh, throwing the way ooh, to she's got ooh, now. Ooh, this might be good. I, I need to leave after this. Yeah, I know. I, I've been looking at the time because you got to get to work in like 40 minutes. Yeah. A sick burnout is a slippery slope that leads to backwards and knees. Ow. Ow. Yeah, that, that's ow. <laughs> Nine ounces of sweet Mexican black tar heroin is a slippery slope that leads to free ice cream forever or getting fingered by Chris Hemsworth for five minutes. Okay. I mean, who needs ice cream? What? <laughs> Furious fog rolling into town is a slippery slope that leads to swearing praise upon the Sultan's hideous daughters. Saying the proper political beliefs of my time to attract a mate 
is the slippery slope that leads to pooping in a laptop and closing it. <laughs> what? <laughs> How? 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 <laughs> Gotta go with the free ice cream? Thank Wait. you. <laughs> I mean, we all know you're not choosing free ice cream, Dave. Yes, I would choose the free ice cream. Every step towards Plank gets me a little closer to Plank. If the second card isn't this, I'm gonna be sad. I'm just throwing my two most offensive cards away. I mean... If they're offensive enough, they might win. <laughs> I should have played these in reverse. I'm so mad. Every step towards Peter Files gets me a bit closer to seeing my village burn that my family slaughtered before my eyes. Oh. Okay. Every step towards screaming like Maniac gets me closer to Super Yoga. Okay. Every step towards raising three kids on minimum wage gets oh me God. closer to Oprah. <laughs> nice. I mean, it probably does. <laughs> Next time on Oprah, the story of a man raising three kids on a minimum wage. Yes! I'll see you guys later. See you, Jake. Let's see you, man. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Have fun yeah, at work. Oh, I will. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the links in the description down below. I'll link everybody's um, channels down below. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we're gonna keep rolling. So see you guys in a little bit.